more from the Currox Wildlife Park uh, with uh, Kathleen here and uh, we've got some great footage to show you of uh, lemurs on this one. In, in our last one we, you probably saw we were looking at uh, well endangered species and lemurs come under that do they? Yeah a lot of people are quite shocked at the ring-tailed lemur which we think of as a numerous animal we see them in lots of wildlife parks and zoos um, the film Madagascar makes them uh, really popular um, or really endangered um, there could be as low as 2,000 left in the wild so there's now more ring-tailed lemurs in zoos and wildlife parks than there is in the wild and that really is quite a shocking are they hunted or what's the story behind them being endangered combination of things they are hunted um, unfortunately um, Madagascar is uh, quite an underdeveloped country so it's quite hard to protect them even in protected areas so they're hunted there is deforestation um, and unfortunately, films like Madagascar has made them really popular. There is maybe a market there for pet trade. So, um, yeah, that's that's unfortunate. However, within zoos and wildlife parks, we've been breeding ring-tailed lemurs for many years. There's a good population there. And um, it is it really is a backup population now because the reality is with a 90 percent decline in the last 10 to 15 years of ring-tailed lemurs they could go extinct in the next 10 to 15 years i love the uh, openness of that particular is it always open this, this this public walkway area we have it as open as often as we can and mm. um, you know we've not got huge staff here so we're very reliant on our volunteers oh it needs checking does it make sure people keep to the paths yeah um <clears throat> we if we train the visitors to stay on the path <laughs> and behave themselves yeah. the lemurs are much more relaxed about people being in their enclosure because they know they're not going to get approached or somebody's going to try and stroke them mm. They're not going to get food from the visitors. So they just kind of go about their day and um, they're much better to watch. And they may even come over and check out the visitors and that's on their terms. That's their oh. prerogative to do that. So we do need it manned by a volunteer really to make sure that um, the lemurs are safe and that the public are safe. They're not trying to grab them. You know, mm. they can give a nasty bite or a scratch yeah. if you if you tried to, to, to grab a hold of one. So Well, we're filming this in May when obviously everything's growing nicely because they seem to be nibbling away at the well just the undergrowth things do they do that yeah it's, it's a great enclosure i mean obviously they get fed at least twice a day <laughs> and it gets scattered around the enclosure at the moment so they're, they're mostly uh, fruit and vegetables yeah. really they get a bit of primate pellet but there's plenty that grows in the enclosure that they can uh, nibble away at and it's been a really successful enclosure they use different parts at different times of the day um, first thing in the morning you often see them sitting on top of that hut roof for the volunteer that sits under yeah. but the lemurs love climbing on that and they sit on top there and kind of greet the morning sun with that kind of buddha pose that, that lemurs <laughs> do and um, you'll see the youngsters sometimes playing in the willow tree they, they run and they bounce off the branches in there um, and then the roped area, sometimes you see them dangling by their feet upside down, they're hilarious, and leaping from pole to pole, or you'll find them in the vegetation eating the grass. Uh -huh. So yeah. they really use the enclosure really well. They've got lots of uh, diverse uh, furniture, if you want to call it, things that they can use in different ways. So, yeah, they're, they're a happy, settled group. OK. Well, come up to the Wildlife Park. Uh, we always tell you it's open almost all year round, just a... Uh, middle of winter but that's that's miles away when we record this and uh, have a look and uh, become a member good idea become a member it really really is good value for money because <laughs> you can pop in and out as often as you like if you maybe only got a spare hour you can mm. pop in for an hour and people find that for about the cost of three visits it's actually less than that but a child by the time they've visited three times it's paid for itself but you're getting 10 percent off food in the cafe mm -hmm. you get 10 percent off in the shop yeah. and it's it just means you can pop in in and out and use the park at different times of the day see what the animals are up to